What's up guys, this is Luis Slayer with another review. In this case I'm going to review the Femme Fatale Tour DVD and Blu-ray because I have both versions. And first, uh, you may ask if I went to this show and of course I went. I went to three of the dates as uh, maybe you already know I'm from Mexico City so I had two opportunity. Brittany had uh, four dates in Mexico and I had the opportunity to go to three of, the, of those dates. I went to Guadalajara and I went to two dates in Mexico City and I must say that it's a, it's a really good show it was a really good show uh, even that we didn't get the full stage and the full um, set list because by the time that show um, got to uh, Latin America they she already uh, cut out two of the songs she about she about to lose me sorry and uh, turn it up which it was it was um um, cover by uh, of one of Madonna's songs. So basically, yes, I had the opportunity. I'm actually I'm wearing one of the t-shirts that I bought. This is not the official t-shirt. It's not. I I bought the official t-shirts and also bought this. And the, I must say that this is my favorite favorite one. If you may remember, this is, this image is from the uh, I wanna go video. So let's go with the review. Basically, the DVD version and Blu-ray version were released on November on uh, 2011, and I must say that um, first of all, um, the cover of the DVD um, they have used this image for a lot, a lot of the um, Britney um, how can you say um, articles that she sold by that time. I mean, it's the cover of the CD, you know, but uh, for example. For the uh, Life on Las Vegas DVD, they didn't use the same image as the cover of the Britney record, which is one it was the the one that she was promoting by the time. She they used a different one, the one with the uh, Elvis outfit. But for this, they decided to use the the same cover as the album. So this is the cover of the of the DVD, and as you can see, it has different um images up and the uh, here that are from uh. For, for basically the show, but uh, if you really, you don't need to be like um, uh, a genius to identify that the, these images are not actually from the same show, are from different shows because during the during the Toronto show, this show was uh, this show was um, recorded on Toronto and it was recorded two dates, so they uh, at the end they merged the two days to God to find the like the right uh, shots and the right angles and everything this is nothing new and a lot of artists have done that even Madonna have done has done that so this is nothing new so basically uh, this is the 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 cover of the uh, DVD and it's apparently it's raining and this is the back cover with the set list and everything and you get to find a lot of um, pictures from the same show so this is the DVD actually this is not the blu-ray well it's obvious right so it has Britney Spears the Femme Fatale tour so a difference from the uh, uh, from the uh, dream within a dream tour that was released on DVD 2 this is just the Femme Fatale tour It's not live from Toronto as the other one was live from Las Vegas so when you open the CD you the box case you get to see this I really love when they do this when they do um, include images of the uh, of the concert or Britney images in the same um in the disc I think it looks kind of better uh, kind of look uh, kind of cool sorry and I really like that the image is from the actual show and it's during the breakdown for a uh, hold it against me and this is basically the disc. It says how uh, Britney Spears the Femme Fatale tour, and it has all the tags from RCA and everything. And it has this little booklet that it has. Well, uh, sorry, I told you the same image. And when you open it, it has a lot of images. Well, not a lot, but it has some images from different songs of the of the show. And also here it has the set list as well and different images from the show. As you can see, it has images from Baby One More Time, Womanizer, um, Trouble For Me, and Give Me More. So this is basically the, the DVD. And, well, it's really cool, but the quality is not that good. Because now, well, when you have a LED TV and a Blu-ray uh, player and you play a DVD, it's not that cool. Here is the DV is the Blu-ray version, which is basically the same, but in Blu-ray, so it has the same cover, but it has this tag over here that it says that includes four the four official uh, videos that were released during that era, during the Femme Fatale era, era, sorry, which is "Hold It Against Me," "I Wanna Go Criminal," "Until the World Ends," 
and it have basically this the, this is the same sorry for that noise it's just that's just started raining I didn't know that it was start raining a difference uh, between the the DVD and the on the blu-ray that it has this is basically basically the from a promo from e e Epix, which is like the network that decided to air the show on 2000 on September 2011 and it's basically the same the same booklet but it's it's um kind of uh, smaller because you know that the the blu-ray cases are smaller so basically it has the same information but the difference between this one and the other one is that the other one is bigger of course but it doesn't include the um the the set list the dvd has the set list on the back of the cover but the blu-ray doesn't because maybe because of the space but it doesn't and this one it has a lot of information so basically this uh this uh the difference now the difference between on another thing for example when you remove the cover from the blu-ray case you get to see this which is like i think it's cool it looks different it's not just white or black like the dvd so it's really cool so basically the difference between the dvd and the blu-ray obviously the quality is better the quality is better and another thing that um the um the i already told you that includes uh for the four videos that were released during the area, hold it against me till the world ends. Um, I wanna go on criminal, and as you may know, criminal was released as a single because uh, they made like a pool, so the fans can vote and get choose the last single from the era. And I thought that criminal it was a really good song, but I I would like uh, maybe beautiful drop that to be a single, not criminal, but it's really cool. So. Um, this is basically this is the review of the DVDs and the, and the DVD and the Blu-ray. Um, but as you can see, if you have watched the show, you may realize that they have really bad angles, and they they don't even they don't even in some parts you get to realize that they're both they they are two dates, different two dates. So that's what's really bad. Then they release a 3D version of the show, and they fix all of it. They fix all those bad angles they fix the audio because one of the main problems of that show is that when they release it on DVD and they uh, decided to air it on TV um, they replaced the pre-recorded uh, vocals with uh, with audio from the CDs that we, uh, we were like what the fuck is going on here because we all know that Britney was not, was not single totally live the show it wasn't totally live, but they used pre-recorded vocals that which that gave like the illusion that they, that she was she was uh, she was singing live. But no, for the DVD and Blu-ray, they decided to remove the pre-recorded pre -recorded vocals and use actual audios from the CD. Is that it was we were we were like, what the fuck is going on here? So basically, if you like to collect stuff like me, you can buy both versions. The DVD and the Blu-ray version, you can buy it both if you want, if you like to collect uh, things like me. But if you don't, if you don't like to collect things by, like me, just buy the Blu-ray version, obviously, because of the quality and because it has the four videos I already told you already. And uh, if you want a really good product, well, not product, if you really want a really good version, don't want the 3D version. Even if you're not going to watch it in 3D, but I just really told you the angles are better than the Blu-ray ones. And they, they has a pre-recorded audio for Baby One More Time list. So basically, this was my review. I hope you like it. I'm going to be reviewing more things. I already told you that I'm going to review things from Hunger Games, but I haven't gotten yet. I was supposed to get those this week, but I haven't, so... In the next week, I'm going to review no stuff that I'm going to get from Hunger Games. So, if you like this video, please like it, share it, and everything. My name is Luis Leger, and thank you very much. Bye.